welcome back to the Nasty Nate channel. Thanks for stopping in today. As you can see, we got something what you guys have been waiting for for the Duramax. Obviously, it's on the lift. We're going to replace the shackles with two inch lowering shackles. Stay tuned to this video. Should be pretty easy. We do have to take the hitch receiver thing off, toe package, whatever you call that, because this shackle bolt has to come out and that is in the way so let's get to it that's going to be first then we'll throw these on hopefully the two inch makes a difference and we'll see what it looks like hopefully it looks that much more nasty stay tuned see this stuff you know once it starts okay you just got to see this stuff Toe package is actually surprisingly really easy to get off. None of the bolts are rusted or anything like that because this is a god dang Florida truck. Now we take this off from this side, pull it out, and then we'll be good. We already have the axle jacked up with these things right here that are really convenient. If we didn't have those, I think we'd be screwed, but let's do it. All right, you got to leave these jacks on the axle and then we drop down the lift so the whole truck moved down and this this part of the leaf spring went up above the frame so we can get to the top shackle bolt above the frame in between the bed i'm gonna give this to my dude ryan he's gonna be my filmer my dude big b is gonna hold the wrench let's see what happens Alright, you ready? Yeah. Did it come out? No, but uh did the nut come off? Yeah, nut came off, but All see right. if you can twist it. <laughs> we'll have to pressure on hot. Yeah, we'll just try to push that out. It'll probably just Bailey. It just pushes out. It does? Yeah. Oh. That's how it's done, boys. I'm going to fall over. Let's get the new one off. All right. We got to make this thing all the way low. I'm Probably thinking. Much hole. Actually, we're going to measure this and make sure I don't make it too low. Yep. We'll be right back. Doesn't look like much right now, but we're about to drop it down after we put the hitch back on. The shackles are on. It's really not that big of a deal. Once you get the leaf spring raised up to about here to where you can pull this bolt out to the inside of the frame. It's kind of hard to tell, but it's simple. And then this side's good. We're about to put the hitch back on, drop this thing down, see what it looks like. Oh yeah, don't forget. Mountain Dew Liberty Brew is out. It is slap. Get you one. All right, about to raise the lift up so we can get the jack things out. And we're going to drop this thing down. Oh, yeah. She's, she's lower. Yeah. <laughs> this thing is way lower. It used to be like, I don't know, up here. Oh yeah, this thing's gonna look nasty. Let me set this camera up and pull this thing out. Sick. Yo, this thing looks good. That is perfect. 
exactly how we wanted it. Not any squat, just a little lower. God dang, man. This thing is coming along nicely. This is exactly what this truck needed. Two inch lowering shackles. The front is completely stock height. I mean, that is just, that is perfect right there. This will probably be the thumbnail. That is nasty. For something so cheap, 50 or 60 bucks, took me less than an hour to put on. That's what you need right there. But look, the bed is like, you can see right into it now. It used to be like up here and it was like annoying to put your hands on to, to sit here or stand here. Now it's like perfect. That's what you need. Next up, we need some uh, center caps, some big old spikes for this thing. This thing will be looking nasty. Make sure you stay tuned to Nasty Nate for the rest of uh, the center caps and spikes and whatnot comment down below if i should have gone lower or should have lifted it or something else but stay tuned to nasty nate we'll see you in the next one